Facebook ad settings are changing literally every single day. This feature came out about a month ago. We're gonna go through how we use this feature, the results we've gotten from this feature. I'm gonna show you a spreadsheet on exactly how we set the settings within this feature. If you set your campaign up, new sales campaign, sales, and you scroll down, there's going to be a little feature here that says budget scheduling. You can now schedule your budget to increase in advance of certain days when you anticipate higher sales opportunity like peak traffic periods or promotional times. We could actually manipulate the algorithm and get ahead one step and only spend certain amounts on better converting days. How to basically use this feature is you're gonna click increase your budget during specific time periods right here. And you are gonna really just start by selecting time periods that work for you. So today is January 11th. I could say, all right, from the 12th to the 15th, we are expecting a percentage budget increase by 25%. That's just a simple version of it. I wanna take a completely different approach. Approach. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into our client 90 day deep dive sheet. This is how we get all of our rich data. You could probably manipulate your own data to find this out too. So what I would recommend either going into your Facebook platform or going into your Shopify platform and understanding where is your ROAS or your cost per acquisition broken out by day. So this is the report that we want to focus on right here. Every single day of the week with spend, with purchases, with revenue, and most important, the core metrics that we want to use you could see our ROAS on Sundays is one compared to our average of 1.7. You could also see that Saturday is 1.4. Monday through Thursday, 1.9 or 1.8, very, very steady. Friday, 2.4. What this is telling me is that within the last 90 days, we have weekday shoppers. And we might even have people who shop on Friday in anticipation for the product for the next weekend. I wanna action on these Sunday and Saturday pieces. This is when ROAS is so low, it's almost not worth worth it for us to spend. But if we were really particular in Facebook and we lower the budget so aggressively all those days, then we'd have to learn again Monday through Thursday and we'd be in a vicious cycle that never ended. So what we'd wanna do instead, let's just plan this for next week. I would say Monday through Friday, I'm happy if you spend an additional 50% and I would basically get the next month done. I would go from here to here, you could spend an additional 50%. And I would just keep checking off these time periods. So we've done through the 26th. So we're gonna do from January 29th through February 2nd, an additional 50%. You could do this up to 50 times if you want to. I generally recommend doing this three months in advance and then always checking back and seeing how it's working. Now you might be asking, but don't we want to actually just spend less on Sunday and Saturday? Yes is the answer, but Facebook is tricky. They don't have an option for you to spend less on these days. So all you have to do is set your overall campaign budget lower. Let's just pretend this was a thousand dollar budget. I want to spend on a week, $7,000 roughly. Instead of setting this to 7,000, this budget is only going to be followed on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to put this to 500. And then I know that on the weekdays, if I set these to 100, meaning just a straight up double increase, Meta will aim to spend an average of $1,000 a day from January 15th to 19th. Let me just recap this part here because I think it's really important and it can kind of get complex. This budget is our budget without any budget scheduling. By just changing our weekdays, Monday through Friday, January 15th to January 19th, with a 100% increase, we are going to spend spend an average of $1,000 on those days. So our weekends will be 500 bucks a day. Our weekdays will be about $1,000 a day. That difference right there is going to drastically shift how much money we make in the platform and how much money we spend in the platform. And when you do this after a few months, what you want to look at is your ROAS across every day of the week. They all should be within 10% of another. Sunday by spending less might come up to a 1.7, 1.8. Our Saturday might come up to a 1.7, 1.8. And then across the board, we'll be at like a 1.8 to 2. That will all automatically push our overall ROAS much higher. If we had an average of these ROAS numbers, if Sunday moved from 1 to 1.7 to hit our average and Saturday also moved to 1.7, we would then move our entire ROAS from 1.7 to 1.89. That 0.2 difference just took the work of setting a couple budgets once every three months. That is 10% increase in your total ad performance. If this is too complex, let me me know and reach out to us. We do work for a ton of clients at themoonlighters.co. If you just want to learn more, hit me up also. I will talk to everyone soon and I'll see y'all in the next.